I am so thrilled to showcase this modest starter home with a lot to offer, including jam-packed amenities for the family. Hi guys, it's Daphne, your favorite broker from Remax. Now, when we said that it's jam-packed with amenities, we are not exaggerating because there's so much for each member of the family. So before I show you the house, let me show you what I mean. Loyola Grand Villas is a community where your kids can be so active with all the sports amenities here, both for adults and kids because you have a full-size basketball court, a soccer field, and all these mini obstacle courses that your kids will surely enjoy. You will also not miss any exercise regimen because of all the spaces available for you to use. You have a variety of selection for your daily needs like your pandesal bread, pizza, and other necessities. Talk about convenience! So it's nice that they segregated all the medical services on this side and then all the restaurants and other services on that other wing. Here you also have your LGV medical clinic and the Lifeline Ambulance 24 hours. You also have your ATM over here. There's also a dental clinic here. So everything you might think of, we have here in Loyola Grand Villas. Before we start our tour, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to be notified of our new videos. From the outside, you wouldn't imagine what's inside the house because it's very unassuming. You wouldn't think that there's so many rooms in this duplex. But would you believe there's five bedrooms here? And it's really ideal for a starter home because once you enter this east-facing door, you are greeted by this living room and it's open concept all the way to the dining area and your kitchen is hidden on the side. But first, one of the surprises here is that you have a senior bedroom with its own full bath. So you have this ready room. It's a very decent size for a senior bedroom, but if you don't have a senior in the house, then you can just use it for office or study room for your kids. So you have your, uh, your full bathroom here. So this is for this bedroom and for your guests as well. As you notice, this is quite ready for move-in because you already have your cove lightings, you have your ceiling fans, and you only have to install your chandelier for your dining area, which is very spacious. I'm sure you can see and imagine how wide this space is. The lot area is roughly almost 200 square meters and the floor area is about 400 plus square meters. So you have this kitchen here where you have enough space to work around whether you're baking, you're cooking on this side and you have a lot of counter space for working anything that you need to and to display all, all your appliances like your microwave, your coffee maker and you have a lot of storage. So this is one of the things I look at when checking out the kitchens of houses if there is enough storage because it's so important. And you have a double sink here, which faces the window. So it's really nice because it's an oversized window. So it lets the natural light come in. You don't actually have to open these lights, but it really helps that you also have these screens. So all the windows here are ready with screens, which is a very minimal factor, but it's very important. 
Now, this is where you would put your refrigerator and this countertop also have their own storage spaces and your drawers. So I think within this space, you won't lack storage spaces because it's very maximized all the way to the top and all around. So out here, the layout flows out to the service area where you can do your laundry and the owners have thoughtfully installed your ceiling glass above where you can hang your clothes. So on this side, it will lead you back to the garage and you have a gate there for extra security. So the smelly cooking can also happen out here. And then this is the maid's room with own bathroom. So it's very convenient and very logical layout because your house staff will be here fully accessible to the service area to, the, to do their laundry, their cooking. So I really like the layout because it's really just, you know, simple, practical, logical. It doesn't have any weird spaces, weird nooks and crannies that you sometimes see in other houses. Plus you also have, you can use this as a breakfast counter. You can put stools here. And don't you just love the lights? It's not your ordinary hanging light, so it adds character to the entire place, even if it's still blank at the moment. So this shows you that you don't have to put in so many furniture or so many decors to make your home feel cozy and warm. So this is just the example for that. So this is fully renovated. This compound has actually been built for more than 20 years, but this was completely gutted out, completely renovated, so you don't have to worry about its age. So on the second floor, you have this family room right here with three bedrooms. It's really nice because this area is where all of you can congregate as a family. So aside from your living area, you have this space to just continue to bond in a more private setting. And after, for example, your movie night, they can all disperse back to their rooms. So let's see the first room. This is not yet the master bedroom, okay? But you have this space for your walk-in closet so you can install the kind of cabinets that you want. The owner has left this to your imagination. And you have a full bath here with extra medicine cabinet that opens right here for extra storage. So it's all brand new. The rooms have their own air conditioning unit. And look at this expansive space with huge windows. The rooms are all regular cuts, so it's really easy to do your layout for your furniture, for your bed. And you have this extra space here which is perfect for your working area where you can put your table and your bookshelves here above. And what I like is that when you enter the door, this section is hidden, so it's more private. So if you have a lot of clutter, you can hide it here. But if you want to add more cabinets, this is the most logical space to put more cabinets because you can put your bed here so your TV would be here, and you can put your working table on this side instead. Which is actually also a good idea because you get the natural light from this side. And you also have cove lightings. You just have to add your own chandelier to personalize this room. So this, this is your first bedroom, which is not yet your primary suite. Now the second bedroom. You have your full bath over here and a regular sized bedroom as well. So you can put a working table right by the window again, but if you need more cabinets also, you can just install them right here as to maximize the space. So again, the ceilings are with cove lightings to give it a warm feel. So this is also ready with your ceiling fan because it looks better than having an electrical electric fan standing here, right? Now, welcome to your primary suite. 
It's a huge space where you can do so many things here. You just have to consult your interior designer how to maximize this big space even more. So this already has an inverter split type Panasonic aircon. So this was also adjusted to maximize the natural light. So if you feel that this bedroom is big, wait till you see your walk-in closet. This can even be like an anti-room or a nursery room if you have a newborn. This is their extension room. But I mean, this is perfect for walk-in closet because you can put cabinets all around. Now let's step into your actual bathroom which is also equipped with his and hers lavatory by Toto and a spacious area for your shower and your water closet. Now what I like about this shower is that they already put a bench here so it's really senior friendly because instead of having to put a plastic chair inside which we often see for senior members of the family, they already have this bench. Okay, so, so far we've shown you four bedrooms, okay, in this unassuming duplex. You wouldn't even imagine that there's five bedrooms here in this size because the layout really makes a lot of difference. When it's really planned out well, you can fit good-sized bedrooms that you wouldn't even thought was possible. Now let's head to the third floor for the fifth bedroom and a multi-purpose area. So here on the third floor, you have your fifth bedroom and your multi-purpose area perfect for entertaining and for movie nights. So look at this entire space. Imagine what you can do with all of these, right? It can be your movie theater room. It could be an area where your kids' friends can do their sleepovers and they don't have to go out of your house because you can transform this area into their play area. You can put like obstacle course here. I'll leave it to your imagination, but look at this space. And if you need more storage space, you can close up the ones under this area at the far end and convert that into smaller cabinets. Plus, you also have this space. Maybe if you need more area for working, you can put tables here, working tables for your kids. So it really depends on your lifestyle. And there's so many options that you can do. It's a flex area. You can decide however you want to use it. So for me, I prefer having these spaces that you might have to need in the future rather than lacking spaces and you don't know how to expand and you're forced to move out because of the lacking spaces. So this is your fifth bedroom, which can also be a multi-purpose area. But again, it depends on how you want to use it, how your lifestyle is, what kind of rooms you want. This can even be your library if, you, if you're really into books or you need quiet spaces in the house. So you can seclude yourself in this room where you get enough natural light, enough sun, you know, and behind you there's also extra cabinets. And you have this room also that you can enclose for extra, extra storage. So looking at it from the outside, you really would not imagine how big it is inside because the owners were able to transform it in such a way that they really planned the layout and spaces very carefully and thoughtfully. Now here's your full bath for this particular bedroom. This can also serve as your guest bathroom if you're entertaining out here, depending on how you convert it. And you also have an access from this side. So it's a two-way access for the bathroom. there right so you're back in this room and you have this extra space for your cabinets so you can also enclose this side with doors if you want if you don't want this to be exposed and there's also electrical plugs out here just for whatever you might need maybe if you need to vacuum this area you have a, an electrical source here
So this modest starter home has five bedrooms with own bathrooms, a multi-purpose area, a maid's room with bathroom, spacious living and dining areas, and a spacious kitchen. You also have a dedicated service area or laundry and a two-car garage. And this home is surrounded by jam-packed amenities perfect for each member of your family like a playground, obstacle courses for your kids, vast open spaces to exercise and run your pets around. You also have a covered full court basketball court, a soccer field, and conveniences like dental clinic, medical clinic, and access to an ambulance from Lifeline. You also have access to laundry stores, water refilling stations, and restaurants and Kambal Pandesal, among others, not to mention ATM machines. If you'd like to see this for yourself, schedule a tour and let's find your favorite home together.